Worldwide, the animation sector is paving the way for fresh customers in developing nations. Animation has evolved from simply manipulating still images to using computer-generated images to tell a story. Industries like communication and technology are driving the global animation market and animated content is becoming more readily accessible on a range of channels. A report predicts that between 2021 and 2030, the animation industry will grow at a CAGR of 5.2%. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. The Spectrum auction in India concluded a few months ago with existing operators paying Rs 1,50,173 crores for 51,236 MHz of Spectrum across several 5G networks. The telecom operators have already started to roll out 5G services in various parts of the country. Customers will benefit from speedier service as a result of mobile devices connecting to wireless networks significantly faster and customers experiencing faster downloads and upload rates. As a result of rising smartphone usage, rapid internet adoption and the acceleration of mobile broadband and data access, a Deloitte report predicts that India's digital economy will reach $1 trillion by 2025. However, this increase is anticipated to be primarily driven by 5G. The speed and latency improvements delivered by 5G combined with artificial intelligence will open the door to brand new possibilities that can make the viewing experience smarter and more personalized. The most important 5G benefit for customers is improved mobile video streaming quality, eventually moving to ultra-high definition that is UHD format as it becomes available. With 5G, watching will become more immersive. These rapid technological advancements both in newer bird platforms powered by 5G and the fast evolving tech adoption in animation are ensuring a promising future for animators and visual graphics artists. Customers' access to high quality video streaming experiences should be central to media companies' strategies. Ideally, they should make the creation and distribution of high quality video a video that sets them apart from the competition a top priority. Moreover, 5G will also enable the streaming of 4K resolution content, which again offers phenomenal video quality when it comes to the animation watching experience. A high-speed network is sure to create a suitable environment for further technological innovations in the field. This is how 5G will impact the animation industry, that is, reduce latency and faster speed, improving the quality and design of animation, AR and VR in animation. The animation industry is changing quickly and will not slow down anytime soon. Except even faster changes in the coming years as technology processes and tests shift to reflect our capabilities. It will probably take a few years before 5G starts to realize its full potential, despite the fact that the first 5G capable gadgets have begun to hit the market. Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. Hindustan Foods to acquire Rekit Benkisar's Pharma Unit. Hindustan Foods Limited will acquire Rekit Benkisar's Health India Private Limited's manufacturing facility in Baddi, Himachal Pradesh for a cash consideration of Rs 156 crores. The acquisition will boost HFL's plan to foray into contract manufacturing in the healthcare and wellness segment. The transfer of the facility is expected to be completed by the second half of 2023. Twitter suspends accounts of journalists who wrote about Elon Musk. Twitter has suspended the accounts of several journalists who cover the social media platform and its new owner Elon Musk, including reporters working for the New York Times, Washington Post, CNN, Voice of America and other publications. The reporters had been writing about the new policy and Musk's theory for imposing it. The suspension followed Musk's decision to permanently ban accounts that automatically track the flights of his private jet using publicly available data. Delhi High Court dismisses Make My Trips plea against NCLAT order. The Delhi High Court has dismissed a writ petition filed by online travel agency Make My Trip challenging an order by the National Company Law Appellate Tribunal to deposit 10% of penalty amount in an appeal against the Competition Commission of India. Based on a complaint filed by the Federation of Hotel and Restaurant Association of India, the CCI found Make My Trip, Boy Bibo and Oyo Rooms liable for unfair practices and imposed penalties to the tune of Rs 223.5 crores and Rs 168 crores respectively. 
Google introduces Search Status Dashboard. Google has introduced a Search Status Dashboard that will inform users of real-time service outages if there is an issue with crawling, indexing or serving search results. This dashboard will report the widespread issues occurring in the last seven days with some details and the current status of the incident. The purpose of introducing this new dashboard was to make reporting issues quick, accurate and easy. PIB warns students about fake CBSE website demanding exam registration fee. The Press Information Bureau has shared the URL of a fake CBSE website that demands registration fees from the students. The URL of the fake website is cbscgovt.com. CBSE's official website cbsc.gov.in does not ask for any registration fee. Students and parents are advised to only rely on the official website of the Central Board of Secondary Education. The original CBSE website has five tabs on the home page, academic website, Pariksha, Sangam, Saras, Results and Main website. However, the fake website has four tabs. Candidates are advised to look at the URL and sections of the website carefully. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.